How's it? Welcome back to Tamba Takes. My name is Sean Tamba, where I give you my take. I'm pour up a pump, pumping all on your stomach. <laughs> Today, The Lighthouse. This is the type of movie that will probably be a reason why a lot of people won't watch this channel. Why do I say that? Because this movie are getting is just it's getting like the most amazing reviews. Everyone loves it, and uh I can't say the same. With that being said, I thought Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe were amazing. The acting is the best part, for sure. Now, I just, it was slow to me. And if you don't know what this is about, it's about these two guys. They get dropped off to this lighthouse. They're supposed to be there for like a month. Robert Pattinson is kind of working for Willem Dafoe's character. And they're just doing like, just keeping up the lighthouse. And, and with this lighthouse, Pat, Robert Pattinson's character is not allowed to go up to the actual lighthouse, but there's something going on with it. There's something strange. We don't know what that is, but he's getting visions of a mermaid and this other guy. And so you're not sure, at least I wasn't sure what the hell was happening. But as the movie continues, you know, he, he definitely goes, I mean, I can, I personally think he, I mean, he goes crazy. And then you're not sure like how long he's been there, if he's even there, if he's some other guy. Did he kill someone? Did he do something else? I, I didn't get any of the hints. Maybe I'm just stupid. But uh, like I would not watch this movie again. It's not a horror movie. It's very serious, but then there's other times where, you know, there's like fart jokes in it, which I mean, I'd laughed at. Fart jokes are funny. So it doesn't take itself like super serious. You know, there's this scene where Robert Pattinson's like pleasuring himself thinking of this mermaid, but this mermaid has like all these tentacles coming out and it's very awkward. Not awkward, it's just a weird scene. And the this director did The Witch, which I enjoyed. I really liked The Witch. It was a slow burn, but it was like perfectly done. I thought with like a super haunting ending. The ending in this one, up for interpretation. I won't spoil anything, obviously. Just, uh, I think for the casual moviegoer, you're not gonna like this. If you're super into movies, you're super into film, you probably like it. I'm super into movies and then super into film. I am, I love it. I will watch anything as you all know. I wouldn't watch this again. Now I'm not saying, now it's not like terrible. It's not like the worst movie, but I feel like for the 10 of you that watch this, I don't think any of you would want to watch this. So the GOAT is gonna be Robert Pattinson. His performance is phenomenal. I've never seen him like this, you know. Him going from Harry Potter to Twilight, and I know he's done other stuff, adult stuff. This is his best performance for me. You kind of feel secluded with him when he's on screen. I mean, it's just the two of them and they're on this little island with the lighthouse. You can kind of see how and why he goes mad. The shit that he does. There's this seagull that like taunts him. Is this seagull like a person? Is, he pos is this seagull possessed by something? Anyway, when he's on screen, awesome. Flat tire to the pace, to me it was slow. And it doesn't really pick up till halfway through. It's a two hour movie. Just my opinion. Y'all can hate, I don't care. So should you watch this movie? I don't really know how to answer that because like I said, I don't even, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't recommend this if you're just bored and you wanna put in a movie, put in this movie. I can't do it. But it's not like a terrible movie, but I don't know if I can recommend it to people who just wanna watch a movie to enjoy it. I don't think, you would. So I'm not gonna give it a specific title today. Honestly, if you're bored, I would suggest something else. That is all for the take today. Shits!